Hi there. Now in this video I'm just going to run through part C of this question on geometric series. I've put in the answers to part A which is 160 and B which was 127.8 just in case you might need them for part C. Anyway, if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to work out then the smallest value of n for which the sum to infinity minus the sum of the first n terms is less than 0 0.5. So I'm going to just start by saying that if then the sum to infinity minus the sum of the first n terms is less than 0 0.5, then what can we build on from this? Well, we know the sum to infinity. We worked it out in part A. It was 160. And then we've got minus the sum of the first n terms. And the sum of the first n terms, remember, is the first term, let's just write it up here actually, just as a reminder. Sn, just in case you've forgotten it, is a, the first term, then it's 1 minus the common ratio to the power n, all divided by 1 minus that common ratio r. So that is uh, something that we should be familiar with. If not, do check it out in my uh, video tutorials. So for this question then, minus the sum of the first n terms. According to the formula, it's going to be a, which is 20, times all of 1 minus the common ratio, 1 minus 7 eighths, to the power n. And that's all divided by 1 minus the common ratio, 7 eighths. Okay. And that has to be less than 0 0.5. So 1 minus 7 eighths, well that's 1 eighth. 20 divided by 1 eighth, that's 160. So we can just cancel this out if you like. That goes into that once and that goes into that 160 times. So therefore, if I expand out the bracket here, we've got minus 160 times 1, which is minus 160. And then you've got plus, negative with negative, plus 160 times 7 eighths, all to the power n. Okay, and that must be less than 0 0.5. I'm going to write 0 0.5 as a half, just purely because I'm dealing with fractions here. But that's up to you, okay? So let's just border this off and we'll work on down here. So. I can see we've got 160 take away 160, so that's zero. And if I now divide by 160 to both sides, I'm just left with 7 eighths to the power n is less than 1 over, well, 2 times the 160 is going to be 320. Now when we've got to solve this inequality here where the unknown is a power, it's best to use logs rather than say trial and improvement. So if we take logs to both sides, say in base 10, and I use the power rule for logs, that would be the log of 7 eighths to the power n, but I can bring the power out to the front and I get n times the log of 7 eighths must be less than the log of 1 over 320. Now this is where a lot of mistakes are made when dealing with things like this. We divide both sides by the log of 7 eighths to give n. But when you divide, let's just write this in first of all, 1 over 320 there, when you divide by the log of a number less than 1, in this case 7 eighths, 
you've got to realize that this is a negative value. Check it out on your calculator if you like, the log of 7 eighths. You'll find it's a negative value. And yet it doesn't look like it's negative. So do remember that when you divide by a log of a number that's less than 1, it's a negative value. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the inequality should be reversed. Remember, if you divide or multiply by a negative number, switch the inequality sign. So that's where I find that a lot of people trip up. OK, so having done that, using your calculator, you should find that n turns out to be greater than 43.198 and so on. And we're being asked for the smallest value of n for which this is true. And the smallest value of n, knowing that n's got to be an integer, has to be 44. So therefore, the smallest, let's just put that in, smallest n equals 44. And there you go.